Hello class, good morning. So our lecture for today is all about forensic ballistics, part one lecture. Let's begin. Brief history in the study of forensic ballistics. So the origin of the word ballistics originated from the Greek word balin or balo, which means to throw, and from the Roman word ballista. This Roman word ballista, which is a machine to hurl a stone. This is also called the Roman war machine or a gigantic catapult. From those words, the modern term forensic ballistics was derived to indicate the science of moving projectile. Ballistics, so in other hand, it is the study of motion of projectiles and the condition that affects their motion. As you can see in this illustration, this is a illustration of a catapult. So, what is projectile? Projectile is any object that once projected or dropped continues in motion. So, when you say motion, naglihok, uh, gumalaw by its own inertia. And it's influenced only by the downward force of gravity. So, because of the gravity, it will always be pulled downward. A projectile may also be referred to metallic or non-metallic objects propelled from a firearm. So, take note of that class. It is referred to a metallic or non-metallic objects. So, inertia. It is uh, in Newton's first law of motion states that a body continues to be in its state of press. So, dili mulihok or of uniform motion, mulihok siya unless acted upon by unbalanced external force. So, kailangan na siya force para mulihok ang isa ka object. Remember that a projectile has a single force that acts upon. So, kung saan siya na force, it's called the force of gravity. What is projectile motion? So, projectile motion, it is an extension to two dimensions of free fall motion. A projectile is an object that moves in two dimensions under the influence of gravity. Just like we said, the force of gravity under the influence of gravity and nothing else. As long as we can neglect air resistance, any projectile will follow the same type of path. So, as you can see in this illustration, uh, it is a curve, curve, uh, curve illustration downward. The path is called parabola. So, what is motion class? So, motion is like I said, the mobility or the movement of the projectile. So, movement of the projectile from the time it leaves the shell. The time it leaves the it leaves the gun muscle and until it reaches its target or fall in the ground due to the gravity pull. In physics, motion is the phenomenon in which an object changes its position, so from one place to another. So, and over time, motion is a mathematically described in terms of displacement. So, muni siya ang mathematically description sa motion, displacement. Distance, velocity, acceleration, speed, and time. As you can see in the station, uh, change in position of a body with with a time period. What is trajectory? So, a tra trajectory or flight path. So, it is a flight path because it is a path that an object with a mass in motion follows through space as function of time. The mass in motion is considered as projectile. As you can see in the illustration given, uh, the circle which is colored black here uh, is considered the mass in motion. The blue uh, illustrating a path underlined is called the trajectory. So, what is forensic ballistics class? So, forensic ballistics it is a branch of science which actually involves in the investigation and identification of firearms. So, it studies the investigation and identification of firearms. 
by means of ammunition fired through them. Study of motion of projectile as applied to law. It is also forensic ballistics. So forensic, it comes from the word forum. It means public discussion, a place meeting, or medium where ideas and views on a particular issue can be exchanged. So important personalities in, his, in the history of forensic ballistics. So number one is Alexander John Forsyth. It he is considered as the father of percussion ignition. He is a Scottish Presbyterian clergyman who first successfully used fulminating or detonating chemicals to prime gunpowder in firearms, thereby creating what became known as percussion ignition. Second personality is Colonel Calvin H. Goddard. So, he is considered the father of modern ballistics. In 1925, Dr. Calvin Goddard co-established the first significant institution devoted to firearm examination called the Bureau of Forensic Ballistics in New York. This is where he perfected the comparison microscope for ballistic research. Goddard developed the science of identifying fired bullets and empty cartridges cases known as forensic ballistics today. Goddard proved that no two revolvers are made exactly alike. So take note of that class, that no two revolvers are made exactly alike. That every weapon makes characteristic marks on a bullet and a cartridge shell and that they are the same every time that a gun is fired. He should that that a bullet, he state that a bullet taken from a from a body of a murder victim can be identified as having been fired from as a specific gun because of marks the gun has left on, on test bullets. Dr. Calvin Goddard is a pioneer in the field of ballistics research proved that the Tommy guns confiscated from Fred Killer Burke's house had been used in the massacre known to be the St. Valentine's Day Massacre Thursday, September 14, 1929, seven members and associates of Chicago Northside gang that occurred on St. Valentine's Day, the men were gathered at Lincoln Park and they were lined up against a wall and shot by four unknown assailants, two of whom were dressed as police officers. The incident resulted from the struggle to control organized crime in the city during prohibition between the Irish Northsiders headed by George Buggs Moran and their Italian Southside gang rivals led by Al Capone. So as you can see in this illustration, this is an illustration of those men who have been killed. And it is called the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. So another personnel is Benjamin Robbins. So he is the father of modern gunnery. He carried out an extensive series of experiments in gunnery, embodying his results in his famous treatise of New Principles of Gunnery, 1742, which contains a description of his ballistic pendulum, a device allowing the determination for the momentum of a projectile suddenly halted in its flight, enabled gun gunners for the first time to measure with a considerable exactness the muzzle velocity of projectiles delivered by their pieces. So this illustration shows uh, the ballistics pendulum of Benjamin Robbins. New principles of gunnery is contain the determination of the force of gunpowder and investigation of the difference in the resistance power of the air to swift and slow motions with several other tracks on their improvement of practical gunnery. So another personnel is John M. Browning. So he is considered as the wizard of modern firearms and pioneered the breech loading single shot rifle. It was it is adapted by also the Winchester Company, considered also as the father of modern firearms. So this is an illustration of us breech loading firearms. As you can see, the first illustration is a single shot rifle. Designed to be loaded by hand before each, each shot, it is fired by pushing down the lever. As you can see, the lever is push. Memory lever, lowering the front of the breech lock block. 
and cocking the firing pin inside the breech block. We will have a video on this of how the breech loading is is applied. Uh, wait for it, class. So second is semi-automatic rifles. So semi-automatic design to bleed gas off from the barrel derived drive back a piston over the breech and recock. Re the hammer in order to fire one shot at each pull of the trigger. Another is automatic firearms designed to use their either its recoil or a portion of the gas propelling the projectile to remove the spent cartridge case, load a new cartridge, and cock the weapon to fire again. Fourth is the repeating rifles. So as you, as you can see, there are many bullets inside its barrel designed for the use of magazine of cartridges each of which is fed into the bridge so it is called the bridge by lever or bolt action on other means so another person is Samuel Colt so Samuel Colt was an American inventor industri industrialist and businessman who established Colt's patent for arms manufacturing company and made the mass production of revolvers commercially viable. Painted the first practical revolver and maker of the Colt Peacemaker. So Colt. So it is called Colt 45. This is an illustration of a Samuel Colt. So that is all of our topic for today and we will continue about our topic next meeting on some of the personnel of the forensic ballistics as we go further in our in our lecture thank you and god bless